today we will discuss psychrometry chart and what is the psychrometry chart how we can draw the psychrometry chart and how we can learn the various types of the line drawn on the psychrometry chart firstly what is the psychrometry chart it is a graphical representation of the various thermodynamics properties of the moist air and psychrometry chart is very useful for finding out the properties of air which are required in the field of air conditioning and it eliminate lot of calculations and there is slight variation in the chart prepared by different air conditioning manufacturers but basically they are all alike the psychrometry chart is normally drawn from standard atmospheric pressure of 760 mm of mercury or 1.01325 bar so psychrometry chart it has number of lines so firstly we discuss dry bulb temperature line it is a saturation curve and dry bulb temperature is taken as abscissa and specific humidity is taken as ordinate so on ordinate here is the specific humidity and at abscissa is the dry bulb temperature so dry bulb temperature line are on the abscissa and drawn parallel to the ordinate and these are uniformly spaced so these are vertical lines on the abscissa and they have they have the equally spaced between each line and temperature range of these line on psychrometric chart is from minus 6 degree to 45 degree with a difference of every 5 degree and drawn up to saturation curve so this is the temperature range for dry bulb temperature lines and second line is wet bulb temperature line so wet bulb temperature lines these are the inclined straight lines and these are non uniformly spaced run downward from the saturation curve to the right at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal so these are the wet bulb temperature line sometime at any point on the saturation curve dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature are equal as we can see here so here here is the dry bulb temperature is 5 degree and wet bulb temperature is also 5 degree and at this point 15 degree celsius is wet bulb temperature and 15 degree celsius is dry bulb temperature and here 25 and 25 both dry bulb and wet bulb temperature these are 25 degree celsius so these are some points at which both the temperatures are equal next is the dew point temperature line dew point temperature lines these are the horizontal lines and parallel to the abscissa and non uniformly spaced as we can say horizontal lines parallel to abscissa and non uniformly spaced at some points on the saturation curve dbt dry bulb temperature and dpt this is this is dew point temperature these are equal so these red line shows the dew point temperature line and these are non uniformly spaced next is specific humidity line these line are also known as moisture content lines the specific humidity or moisture content lines these are horizontal lines parallel to the abscissa and these are uniformly spaced 
so these black lines on the diagram they shows the specific humidity or moisture line and moisture content range of these line on psychrometry chart is from 0 to 30 gram per kg of dry air or from 0 to 0 0.030 kg per kg of dry air so this is the range of the moisture content as we can see here it varies from 0 to 30 so next line in psychrometry chart that is relative humidity line the relative humidity line these are the curved lines and these line follow the saturation curve so as you can see these are the curved lines and follow the saturation curves along the toe so these are the curved lines as like saturation curve these lines are drawn with 10% 20% 30% and up to 100% the saturation curve represent 100% relative humidity so these are the values of relative humidity here the curve lines this shows it shows the relative humidity 20% here it is 40% 60% 80% and this is the line of saturation curve so this saturation curve it represent the 100 percent relative humidity next line is the enthalpy or total heat line the enthalpy or total heat lines these are inclined straight lines these are inclined straight lines and these are uniformly spaced and these lines are parallel to the wet bulb temperature lines and drawn up the saturation curve so as we can see heat lines inclined straight lines uniformly spaced and parallel to WBT lines and uh, goes up to saturation curves and uh, some of these lines coincide with as we can say uh, as we can see the wet well of temperature line these are also inclined line and enthalpy or total heat line these are also inclined line so some lines are coincide with these WT lines and these are go these go beyond the saturation curve total enthalpy is given on the scale above the saturation curve in kilojoule per kg of dry air and the values of the enthalpy or total enthalpy is given on the scale that is above the saturation curve so this is the scale on which we can read enthalpy this scale is used to read the value of the enthalpy next is specific volume lines specific volume lines these are the inclined straight lines at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal uniformly spaced and these line are drawn up to the saturation curve so these are the specific volume line and the value of the value of the volume lines are given at the base of the chart abscissa in meter cube per kg of the dry air and the last one is the vapor pressure line the vapor pressure lines these are horizontal and uniformly spaced line and these are not drawn in the main chart as we can say horizontal uniformly spaced not drawn in the main chart the scale showing vapor pressure in mm of mercury is given on the extreme left of the chart
discharge. So this is the scale which indicates the vapor pressure line and on psychrometry chart the various line indicate various psychrometry terms showing the condition of air as if dry valve or wet valve temperature are known the relative humidity can be determined. If dry valve temperature and relative humidity are known the wet valve temperature can be found. If wet valve temperature and relative humidity are known the dry valve temperature can be read from the chart. And if wet valve temperature and dry valve temperature are known the dew point temperature can be found. And if wet valve and relative humidity are known dew point can be read from the chart. If dry valve and relative humidity are known dew point can be found. So today we discussed uh, we, today we have learnt about the psychrometry chart, various types of the lines of the psychrometry chart and how we can draw and how we can learn the psychrometry chart. So, psychrometry chart, it uh, has number of lines. So, firstly we discuss dry valve temperature line. 